The main questions we want to ask are, can they close a hot lead? Like if we give them an investment lead, can they close it one through 10? Can they close a lead for at least $15,000 profit on a wholesale deal? What we saw was there's a lot of good salespeople out there. And the problem though is if they're not comfortable giving low offers, they'll get contracts, but they'll get contracts way too high. And it obviously defeats the purpose. So something we look at is can, are these people good enough at sales or do they trust our process enough that they can get a deal, but not only get a deal, but can they get a deal at at least a 15 K spread? Cause we had salespeople that were getting like, this happened to Chris actually. Um, Chris was getting contracts cause he's a great salesperson, but he wasn't believing in our, uh, he didn't believe, or he wasn't doing correctly our analyzing process. So he was getting contracts and we, we couldn't make 15 K or more on them. So, um, Chris, you asked me, what did you ask me? Oh, calls. Okay. So this is feedback. And the reason I brought this up is cause I want to, I'm going to get this call here and I'm going to put it on Rizuku cause this was like a nine out of 10 for me. This call that he did was 11 minutes. Did you hire somebody to do like those call reviews for you? Or was that like internally with like you and Luis listening to the calls, reviewing them? This was just me, just me. I took an hour, I blocked off an hour on my calendar and I'm like, okay, let me, let me do this. And then I, so Marco now is kind of like, he's like the sales manager. So he's managing our sales team. So I sent this to Marco and I said, Hey, what's your plan to fix this? And I kind of let him tell me, okay, what I think we should do is I'm going to get on more calls with them. I'm going to have them shadow me. I'm going to you know, listen in on more of their calls. I'm going to review them, whatever. I let him tell me, yo, this is what I saw that is a gap right now. What do you, what can you do to help us fix this? Um, so for instance, like he doesn't touch on too much on deal killers. That's not good. He sends contracts without phone signing sessions. Big no, no. I think Chris, you, you followed that Corey on the meetup. I stressed that a bit. Andrews, Jamie, I'm not sure if you guys understand what this is, but basically if you are going to make an offer to a seller and maybe you guys verbally agree to a price or they're at a hundred and you're at 90 and they're like, okay, send me the offer. Never send them a contract by email. And that's it. Always say, okay, look, perfect. I'll definitely send you the offer. When is a good time to talk on, on the phone when you're going to be in front of a computer so I can send that over to you. Sometimes they'll say, no, no, but just send it to me and I'll review it. It's like, Hey, I'm sorry. Like I, I, it's company policy that I have to send this agreement with you on the phone. You don't have to sign it with me on the phone, but I can't just send a contract through email without making sure it's you. You understand? So this right here has the reason we went from 100,000 a month to 200,000 a month. This is probably 50% of that reason. That's a golden rule. Yeah. Um, I noticed that Chris wasn't spending too much time. We've seen that over all these calls that we've done, all these contracts we've gotten, we've seen it takes an average of three calls and 25 minutes total talk time with a seller before they sign a contract. So if you notice, this was 11 minute call. Everything he did was perfect. The only reason I gave it a nine and out of 10 was because it's 11 minutes and statistics show in this business, you need at least 20, 25 minutes on the phone with them before they feel comfortable enough to sign an agreement. So if you guys expect to get agreement signed in seven, 10 minutes, um, not going to happen. Just we tried it all. Believe me, it's just not going to happen. Um, so this was Abby. She's new with us. Honestly, she's a killer. Um, this is some of her feet. Well, I didn't go over the good things. He's got great style and control over the phone. He has the top qualities. He's funny. He's light. He's very funny. And like he jokes with sellers and he's so fucking good at that. Um, I'll show you some of his messages on Slack. Like everything's a joke with him. And, you know, some people are more serious than others. You don't have to be funny to get deals. But like if you are like naturally like a funny, lighthearted person, there's ways that you can use that in your sales ability in this business. So that's great. Um He's very patient. He's a great listener. 
Um, so we gave him a 10 out of 10 and I gave him a seven out of 10 in the, can he make a 15 K profit, um, to get this a 10 out of 10 practiced on the comparables. So this is like the only work he really needs. 